just when you thought the ending of Game of Thrones couldn't get any worse, here they go. And no, this is not a dumb and dumber moment where, and totally redeem themselves. No, they do not redeem themselves. Wow. Unbelievable. Game of Thrones finale script reveals why Drogon melted the Iron Throne. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this, everybody? Get ready. Um, with the final season of Game of Thrones earning a heap of Emmy nom nominations, uh, the script of the series finale episode, The Iron Throne, has been made publicly available online. After giving the script a read, we found the answer to the w one of the more perplexing questions that came out of the final episode. Why did Drogon melt the Iron Throne? It's been demonstrated that dragons are of a high intelligence, but it seems like a stretch that the great beast would understand the importance of the geopolitical symbol and that his mother's desire for it, what ultimately led to her demise. Um, as it turns out, Drogon didn't intentionally melt the throne. It was a complete accident. <sighs> The script penned by showrunners David Benioff and D.B. Weiss details how Drogon finds Jon over Daenerys' dead body, becomes enraged, and readies a breath of fire in that moment. We learn that Drogon wants to burn the world, but he will not kill Jon. And instead, he breathes fire on the back wall, blasting down what remains of the great red blocks of stone. The script even clarifies that the Iron Throne was not the target of Drogon's wrath. Just a dumb bystander caught in the uh, conflagration. Conflagration? I'm not even sure I've ever said that word. Um, he looks down at John. We will see the fire build up in his throat. John sees it all as well. He prepares to die. But the blast is not for him. Drogon wants to burn the world, but he will not kill John. He breathes fire uh, on the back wall, blasting down what remains of the great red blocks of stone. We look over John's shoulder as the fire sweeps towards the throne, not the target of Drogon's wrath. Just a dumb bystander caught in the conflict. I don't even know the word is. Uh, we look through the blades of the throne as the flames engulf it and the blast and blast the wall behind it. We see the throne in flames, turning red, then white, then beginning to lose its form. We get tight shots of the details melting in the silhouette, the armrest, the iconic fan of swords on the back's rest. The fire stops, the smoke clears, revealing a puddle of smoldering slag where the throne once stood. Who will sit on the throne? No one. So there you have it. It seems Drogon just wanted to vent his rage, and the chair just happened to be in the way. Of course, while Drogon didn't mean to destroy the Iron Throne, the showrunners clearly wanted to find a dramatic way of eliminating that object of power to symbol the end of Game of Thrones that the characters had been embroiled in for years. So it's so it was going to be destroyed one way or the other. Are you pleased with how they did it? Let us know in the comments. Even now, they're making the show worse. Even now, it's been done for a while, and they're still making it worse. These guys are talented. I mean, this is talent. They're still making it worse. Holy sh... crap. Holy hell, what is wrong with these dudes? This is insane. Wow. Oh. I mean, there's not a... Uh, there's not a... You know what? I'm getting a phone call. Hang on. Hang on, I, we're, I'm going to answer this, because this is how we do it at Geeks and Gamers. Hello? Hey, what's up? I'm, I'm recording a video, and I'm leaving this me answering this in the video. I'm not going to edit this out. But this is Odin from Odin's Movie Blog, everyone. <laughs> I'm not going to edit it out. Give me a, Let me call you back. I'm almost done recording. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link to your, to your channel in the description. <laughs> Bye. That's all good. No, I'm not streaming though. This is just a regular recorded video. I'm leaving it in. This is gonna be beautiful. So, oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'll call you back. Bye. Bye. All right. So that's how we do it. That's how we do it. I don't know what exactly what I was talking about, but the fact is, is yes, they're still making this worse. Being off and Weiss canceled their appearance at San Diego Comic Con. Um. Wow. I, I'm just blown away, man. I mean, you know, you you kind of you kind of would hope that they actually had a reason for why they did some of these things, and they just say, "No, nah, no, nah, we just, you know, it was just an accident." What? Like you didn't have any deeper like 
thoughts behind this. Like, he just, yeah, like, ah, he just, he was just showing his rage and uh, the throne, the thing that we built up for eight years. Eh, it was just there as an innocent bystander. These guys are, wow. Good luck, Star Wars. Good luck, Lucasfilm. These are the guys. These are the guys that we have that potentially are going to be dipping their toes into the Old Republic. These guys right here. Okay. Okay. You guys make sure and please check out geeksandgamers.com. Check out our merch store. We would greatly appreciate that. Other than that, you guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. And we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.